James Kaufman, World News Report today. NOAA has come out and said that we have an increasing chance of X-class solar flares. These, as you know, are the strongest rating of solar flares. We also have an increased chance of all solar flaring based on the Earth-facing sunspot groups. A parade of large sunspots is turning towards Earth. Among them, sunspot 4199 is crackling with M-class solar flares. We'll see that in our full update. We also have a large sunspot 4197 that has developed a delta class magnetic field that harbors energy for very strong X class solar flares. Earth is entering the strike zone of these active regions and we will soon be in the bullseye. Geo effective solar flares are in the offerings and will be for the next several days. Again, what you're seeing here is a close up of newly upgraded Delta class sunspot AR4197 with an artist's rendition of Earth and its actual size next to the sunspot so you can have some idea of how large the sunspot actually is. It's huge. These are the sunspots turning to be Earth facing. We have AR4191 a Beta Gamma Sunspot 4197. This is the new Delta Class Sunspot, although it's still rated a Beta Class or Beta Gamma Class. We'll see it in just a second. And then we have AR4199 that's been spraying M flares most of the day today already. All right, so we have. Right in the middle, Earth-facing, AR4191, Beta Gamma, directly Earth-facing. It's been quiet for a couple of days. Then we have AR4197, and this is the sunspot they say now is a Delta-class sunspot. Here it's marked Beta Gamma. And lastly, as far as important sunspots, we have AR4199, it's been responsible for at least two, maybe three M-class solar flares already today. Now, currently, we have nine named Earth-facing sunspot groups, and that should probably be 10 and 11 here. We'll see what happens as far as naming those sunspot groups at some point today. With that said, we will follow up with a full report. God bless. Please share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.